So the video I'm about to show you is one of the most horrible things you could possibly imagine. Um, heed the warning if you are sensitive to this type of thing. Don't watch, don't listen. You won't see anything gross. It's just these testimonies. Um, this video is mostly in Italian, so I'll just read the subtitles. I'll try to skip through it a little bit, but it's basically the story of these children who attended a school for the deaf in Italy. Um, this guy is one of them. And this is their story, as unbelievable and terrifying as it is. Letter to the Pope. Zero tolerance for pedophilia, says the Pope. The church must punish the priests who have this problem. See, already there we got a problem. Because we already know that the church doesn't want to punish the priests. But it's the way this is phrased. The priests who have this problem. It's just a few priests and they just have a little problem. It's definitely not the whole structure of our organization. And it's definitely not the ethos of our organization. It's just a few priests who have a little problem. A los sacerdotes por ese problema. This little problema and help the parents to report them to the civil authorities. Wasn't that nice? You can go report it to the civil authorities who we pay billions if not trillions of dollars to pay them off, buy them off, bribe them, pay our lawyers to get these priests out of trouble and make sure they never face justice. So yeah, go, go report us to the civil authorities that we own. De los padres. I'm sure you'll find justice there. And he's even saying, you take it to the civil authorities. Don't expect us to do anything. We're going to shuffle our priest to other parishes so they can molest more like we always do. I was born deaf. I didn't hear anything, and I wasn't able to speak. The nuns took me to the church. I still remember his black habit. He was completely naked underneath. I think that's him. Sometimes he told me to sit on his lap. Later he forced me to have oral and do disgusting things. He didn't choose all children, but I was a pretty child. This guy's very brave for coming forward with this story, by the way. And he actually confronts the Pope, as you'll see. So things got a lot worse. He took my clothes off and graped me. He really hurt me. I was bleeding from my... I was really little then. A little child, a little deaf boy. In the hands. Afterwards he cleaned me and told me not to tell anybody. In the hands of the man who everyone looks up to. The holy man. A, and he, I was in a lot of pain. He was in a lot of pain from being by a holy man. I hate to be locked inside a room. At home, I always get rid of all the keys. And this is what I talk about in my book. Those keys remind me of my past in that room. What I talk about in my book, The School Survival Guide, about <laughs> child abuse, sexual, physical, Emotional, it all happens behind closed doors. So that these people can keep their face and lie in public, but behind closed doors, this is who they really are. In naturalistic societies, there's no cultures of sexual abuse like that. It's, it's the complete opposite. Naturalistic societies protect their children above all else. Raising healthy children is the purpose of life. And so when you see these religions that choose, you know, Kronos or Saturn as their patron eating the children, it is very appropriate. Civilization eats its young. The man who abused me, Father Micheloni, he still lives here at the Provolo Institute. He's still at the Institute where he raped this boy as a little boy. He's still there. He's been there all these years. Pope Francis, in 2014, I handed you a letter 
in the name of many other victims. Look at this photo. He won't even make eye contact with him. And look at that. <laughs> look at this in the corner. It's like... Won't even, won't even acknowledge him. You know, the other video that I have, I don't know if I can show that on YouTube, but that's, that's what happens when it goes the other way. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It contained the names of 14 pedophile priests who are still free. You never replied to me. So he said he sought, he sought justice and that he wanted to get those priests with a little problem out of his congregation, but they're all still there, all 14 of them, all working at the same institute. It must have been like a prized posting in their culture, a, a school for deaf children, separated from their parents, can't hear, can't hear each other scream. It must have been like a reward for them to get posted here. Dozens of former students from the Antonio Provolo Institute for the Deaf have accused more than 25 priests of grape and sexual abuse. Boy, I bet that's just a, a, few, <laughs> a few outliers, huh? When 25 priests at the same institute... I guess just a little problem. We gotta get that little problem of those few priests with that problem out of the... It's a culture. It's a deeply ingrained culture. There's no way any rational person could possibly think that's <laughs> some kind of <laughs> accident that all those pedophiles ended up working at the same place. You'd have to be a complete moron. 13 of the accused priests are still alive and free, meaning most of them died before they ever faced justice. That's what that means. Some of them still live in the buildings of the Provolo Institute. They're still there. Now, again, warning. This guy's story is even worse than the first one. Much worse. The Pope, zero tolerance. The Pope hasn't done anything. My father took me to the school in 57. On the first day of school, I met my new schoolmates. The lesson started on the second day. Father Giovanni Pelle taught me how to pronounce words while touching my genitals. That was the first time. Speech therapy. For seven years, every week I was anally graped and forced to have oral sex. Look at that photo. Look at all those children, all those deaf children under the care of the most holiest, the most learned, the most powerful men in town, the most exalted men in town, the priesthood. Did I mention the most learned? These are your educators. These are your scientists. And this is what they do to children. By four to five priests at the same time. I was forced to do those things by four to five priests at the same time. In the church, in the classrooms, in the dorms, in the bathrooms. For seven years, it's disgusting. Five priests at the same time raping these little boys. Look how old they are. You can see how old they are. You don't need me to spell it out. They're seven or eight years old. I'm broken. My mind and my body are broken as if I was dead. Father Del Castello shoved a stick up my... It hurt so much. Let, let's, let's pause here for a moment and dispel a myth that still persists to this day. The myth that this weirdo prohibition on marriage for priests somehow turns them into these monstrous 
pedophiles. That's not how it works. <laughs> May, sure, if you don't have women for long enough, you could turn gay, sure. But you don't turn into this. You don't turn into something that wants to hurt children. This is not sexual. It's about hurting people. It's about being a predator. It's about ruining people's lives on purpose. It's about a criminal organization that bonds its criminals to each other through these activities. So don't ever fall into that thinking of, oh, he was just a normal guy, and then, what, they didn't let him have sex, and now he's a pedophile raping little... No. That's not how this happens. These people were predators long before they ever became priests of the church. He made me sleep in the same room with him. A stick in your... I was in so much pain. I was screaming all night long, but the deaf can't hear. They were all fast asleep, and I was screaming in pain. Look how young those boys are. The first time I was forced to have sex when I was six years old by Sister Bruna Sarti. Until I was 13 years old, intercourse and masturbation, right up until he went into puberty. Isn't that nice? When I was 10, Sister Bruna made me lick her genitals. Look at the face he's making. She was all naked and made me touch her breasts. Later on, I was abused by 12 priests and two lay brothers. Father Carteri drove me in his car to a residence. I asked him, who is this? Is this the bishop? He didn't answer. I went inside. The bishop walked up close to me. He said, how are you? You are so beautiful. I looked behind me and I saw Father Carteri was gone. I was worried because I was alone with the bishop. They took me five times to the bishop. He took my hand and put it on his D. It was really big and I had to jerk him off. He turned me around and cradled me like a child. I saw he grab a banana. He tried to penetrate me with it. Donations for the beatification of the Venerable Giuseppe Carraro. Who are your saints? Who are your gods? Who are your holy men? Who, what are the books that you read and you pray to? What's really written in those books? What's really encoded in the, in the mathematics of those books? This is who these people really are, and this is who they've always been. People that give you a perk to go work at a little home for deaf boys, and then beatific beatify you as a saint, as a saint. This bishop abused me, he ruined me. And look, there's his statue. Now you know what it takes to get a statue. Look at him. Look at those sick. <laughs> Do you understand that when people go to these religious shrines and they see these, these statues, they don't know. Nobody knows. Only the people who have the courage to look into these religions and see what they really are will ever know the truth. This is... Go, go watch my series on sacred prostitution. It was global. Every solar cult on this planet practiced sacred prostitution and still does behind closed doors. Period. Sicko sex stuff has always been a part of organized religion. Always. And the people who are in denial about that are in denial about it, and they'll always be in denial about it. And apologists will never stop apologizing. You, they can always say, I, th that's not the pure spirit of the religion. Just like you can say, that's not the pure spirit of whatever, anarchism, communism, any ideology. They're not doing it right. <laughs> Somehow it never gets done right.
It always ends up with a pile of bodies, misery, and murder. You can't do this. You must have respect. You have to respect my body, everyone's body. Pope Francis is the leader. He could have done something. Oh, he did do something. <laughs> he protected them. That's what he did. That's what he did. Let's go to that. There are bad priests, good priests. How am I supposed to know who is good or bad? Well, friend, let me tell you. It is a culture. Are there some good priests? Yeah, there are some good cops, too. And they're in the line of fire. Just like a good priest. <laughs> Must be deaf, dumb, and blind. You could be a good cop, I think, more than you could be a good priest. A good priest would have to be absolutely, utterly deaf, dumb, and blind to what's going on. But some people are like that. They go around doing good works and petting doggies and giving away cans at the food drive. But this is the truth. The, the, the Catholic Church is well known to sponsor every vampire movie ever made. Go watch any vampire movie ever made and you will see the church in that movie. You'll find a priest. There's always a priest character, 100%. Even if they're comedies, spoofs, what have you. There's always a priest. And what do you do to ward off the vampire? You hold up that holy sign, right? That holy sainthood to protect yourself. When in reality, they are the vampires. They prey on little children. They murder the souls of little children just like their souls were murdered as little children. Again, referencing the other video, which I may or may not show you, that priest kicking his legs after he got punched in the face, re regressing to a, a, a trauma that must be from his toddlerhood, from when he could barely even speak, based on how infantile his reaction was. And these brave men giving their testimony while these liars and cowards with their billions of dollars and their trillions of worshipers falling at their feet wanting to go visit take a pilgrimage to the Vatican City disgusting but there will always be those who know the truth but this man wasn't afraid to speak his truth and for some reason, YouTube allowed this video to go up, and I think it's still up there. You can watch it yourself in its entirety. So don't say I'm doing a hate speech. Don't ban my video. That pissed me off when they blocked my comments on that other video. How dare you block my fucking comments. And then turn the comments back on a month later, playing games. In 2015, Giuseppe handed a letter to the Pope warning of 14 priests who had allegedly abused deaf children. The Pope never replied. Two years later, Father Nicola Carati, whose name was on the letter, was ab arrested on abuse charges filed by former students of a branch of the Antonio Provolo Institute for the Deaf in Argentina, Pope Francis' home country. So there's another branch of this deaf kid school with the exact same name, the Antonio Provolo Institute. There is another branch of it in Argentina, whereupon one of the same priests who was accused in the Italy branch was finally arrested. Can you imagine how bad his offensive must have been to actually get him finally arrested? And it's all happening in Pope Francis' home country. Yeah, it's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. These have helpless children under their control. And who, historically, has controlled and owned orphanages around the world? I know they're helping those poor children. Time to wake up. It's the Great Plague.